I took a walk around the world Only to find that I shouldn't be here I shouldn't be here The ocean blue, I still bleed red By the time I drown, I think I'm brain dead I'll have to find my way All the bills I'll have to pay Set them free Adam and Eve, they fell in love Something I thought that I was still unsure of Still unsure of The light goes on and she's laying naked, 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 naked All I know is I'll have to find my way All the bills I'll have to pay set them free All I know is I'll have to find my way All the bills I'll have to pay set them free to feel Oh my God, I had it all but you It all but you I had to feel I had it all Oh I'll have to find my way All the bills I'll have to pay Set them free All I know is I'll have to find my way All the bills I'll have to pay Set them free Set them free You can rock the boat, baby. Thank you. You can very 60s. Am I right, Mr. John Michael Bolger? Absolutely. A very special guest uh, tonight. Forget about my shot, Gloria. I know that you like to have the opening shot, have Cici Gamacho over there, but you see, I don't like that picture very much. I loved it. Very 60s, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Very. What about your father? Why he's not here today? How come? Uh, he's actually in California helping my sister with. Uh, her oh, because when I got the call, I figure. He said they're gonna come. Be you know the traffic is gonna get crazy. So I I I, I thought he was coming. Yeah, no, he's he's a busy guy. He's a so busy guy, nice but you're day. a busy man too, and Thank I'm a busy you. woman, and you're a busy man. So all of us were busy. Keep busy. That's the way to. That's you know, when I was watching you guys, I could see I used to work in uh, the bitter end on Bleecker Street back in the in the the good old days. Because <laughs> you're younger than I am. Now, <laughs> as I was watching you, I could see the the what was famous about the bitter end. You could look up anything about the bitter end, and there was a famous red brick wall. The stage was built off of a red brick wall, and in my mind, I could see the red brick wall behind you because you have that, that sort of a, a throwback sound like yeah. Phil Oaks, yeah. Phil Oaks, or uh, 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 Jeff Buckley. These are guys that were singing like that, simply, and eloquently, where you could understand the words, right. and beautifully. Thank you. Thank so it's you. really. Really a treat to hear you. Yes, Thank Nick, you. Matt, Eric, and Joe. Yep. So you see, I'm not going to forget your name, guys. <laughs> I'm not that rough. I can be rough. I can be... We I know. You're in good hands. Yeah. You're in good hands with me. We have Mr. John Michael Bolger in the house. Goodness. We met, well, how many years ago? 20? I'm sorry. Not that long. A long time ago. We're old people, John. I'm old people. We are old. You're middle. They're young. I'm old. No, we're all old. Our souls are very right, old. We're old souls. I agree. Absolutely. So we agree with that. So I met you about 1,000 years ago. I met 2,000 years ago, John. 350,000 years ago on a beach in Costa Rica. Yeah, not, I don't know about that, all John. Right. The Dominican Republic? 
No, no. We've been around. Hispaniola? Hispaniola. Hispaniola. Yeah, I didn't know you speak Spanish. Sí. It's good for the girls. Sí. Not good for mama. Sí. Yeah, very much. Sí. You understood what I said in sí. Spanish? Sí. Now speaking Spanish? Sí. You're going to leave the audience out? Sí. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, no. Can't no. leave the audience it's out. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. John, good to see you. Good to see good you to as well. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. Time has passed. Unbelievable. Right? But we're still here. Absolutely. How are you feeling? Wonderful. Vertical, breathing, living, learning, and alive. Living? Living. Learning? Learning. And alive. And alive. It's been an um, interesting four years. Um, you know, life is uh, sometimes like a roller coaster. It is. You know? It is. And... That, that moment when you're in the roller coaster, that pinnacle moment when you're getting pulled up and you can hear those gears and you, you realize that you're sitting in a contraption that's basically suspended by a ball bearing. And then the next thing, swoosh. Well, my roller coaster went off the, the tracks and sort of off somewhere into the, into the brambles. And <clears throat> that's the interesting thing about life because um, you know, as artists, whether we're musicians or painters or actors or writers, it's the hard times that define who we are right. and make us who we are. Mm -hmm. Those are the times that when you get knocked down seven times, you get up eight times. You just keep getting up, you know? When I was talking to you the other night, I was talking about this great interview with Joe Frazier where he spoke about when he dropped Ali in the garden with that left hook and he figured that was it. He was walking, he dropped him he turned around to walk away, and Ali was already up and following him to his corner. You got to get up. You, you have just got to get up. You don't have up. a choice. There, well, you do have a choice. Well, you can live or die, John. Well, there's that great line in the Shawshank Redemption. You either get busy living or you get busy dying. Right. I choose living, actually. Every single day. Every single moment. How's your mother doing? My mother's wonderful. She's uh, 86 years, and she's wonderful. Uh, Couple of tough years, the loss of my sister and I know, um, you lost your sister. some family members. And but my mother's, my mother's from that that other generation, that that stern stuff, that that tough stuff. You know, they just they rely on their faith, they lean into the Lord, and they uh, they find a way to persevere. So thank God, thank God, she's got her health and she's alive, and she still she still can throw a good. Punch. A good jab, so I know, you that's can, good. And you can fight. And like I was saying before we started, three things that I know about you. You're always right, you're always right, and you're always right. You know, you're, you're right. <laughs> right? Right, John? No, nah, that's not true. That's not true, that's not necessarily. Not true. No. You know, my evolution, I can speak about my evolution. I, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot through, uh, through life, through experience, through failure. You know? Failure is a great thing. You can either look at failure as you just pack up and go, or you can look at failure to dig a little bit deeper. And I've learned a lot of lessons in the last couple of years, lessons that have uh, humbled me, hopefully made me a better human being, a better artist. And uh, I'm not always right. I'm not always wrong. Right. But I'm not always right. But you're tough, John. You're I'm, tough. Well, I'm not as tough as I appear. It's a front, you know? It's a front. It's a, it's a mask. It's, uh, Pete Townsend said it's an imminent front that's put on. It's what I've needed to uh, protect myself because I'm sensitive, like you're sensitive, like they're, they're sensitive. sensitive. You Each know, one we're of us. very sensitive. And in a world that sometimes is not so sensitive, we have to find a way to protect ourselves. So, you know, that's why I believe so many people love superheroes. You know, you, you have your little mask and your little cape in your closet somewhere and you become this person that you're really not just to get through the tough times and then hopefully on the other end as you're about to go from a caterpillar to a butterfly you can discard the mask. What have so, you learned from of yourself like John in the last two, two, three years? What have you learned from yourself? <sighs> Zip the lip, something that somebody told me a long time ago. So it's a gamash. Did I say it? Many, many years ago. Many years ago. You know? Shut your mouth. Well, Bob Dylan's got a great song called My Back Pages, and he says, I was so much older then, and I'm younger now. What I've learned in the last couple of years is that four years ago, I went in and had a, 
hip replacement, which I couldn't I remember, speak about I the last I remember time. I went to see you to the hospital. Yes, you did. Phenomenal. Okay. Uh, and I woke up paralyzed. And I was told I would never walk correctly again. I, I was told by uh, someone that if, I, if, you have an, if you have a vehicle, get a disabled uh, parking pass and apply for disability. And I said, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm going to walk. Right. And they went, no, you're not going to walk. Your foot is, is dead. It's disabled. Well, I can tell you right now that with that foot, I could, I could play striker for Barcelona. Wow. Or kick a field goal, you know. Um, what I've learned is that the human body, if you leave it alone, respect it, and love it, it will take care, take of, care of itself. Of it. yeah. It's unbelievable. The, regener the, the regenerative powers of the human body, also the spirit and the soul, and, and um, learning your life lessons as you're meant to learn them. And I've been learning them. Absolutely. I'm listening. I'm listening to you, John. I'm listening, thinking about when you met my dad. I loved your father. Instant my, simpatico. My mother, yeah. yeah. And Joey. And Joey. We know when, each other when, for I a met, long when I met when I met Sissy's parents and I met we we were in your house. Um, one of my place. And yeah. Joey was there and your mother could see how much I love you. She warned you in, in your in your native tongue. Be careful of Be this careful guy. Watch out it is. I was like, no, 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 no. John is I I Sissy, you're lovable. You're lovable. You're lovable. It's just the way it is. Sweet. To Very know you sweet. is to love you, period. To know you is to love you. God, I like that. It sounds nice, beautiful. I want to talk about your book. Absolutely. Stoop to Conquer. Let's yes. talk about that. Yes. Well, I went to Catholic school when I was younger, and the nuns, the uh, Dominican nuns of Blauvel, taught me penmanship. So I figured one day maybe I'll use the penmanship. So I got inspired by a, a, a great writer named David Milch, who told me I should try writing. So I started to put number two lead pencil to legal pad, and I wrote a story called Stoop to Conquer. It's a coming-of-age story about Hell's Kitchen in 1980. 1980. It has uh -huh. nothing to do with the Irish gangsters or anything else. It's a fiction novel. It's a depiction of my life and a lot of my friends put together during that time. It takes place um, during the summer when you're young, like, like you guys, and you think your whole life's going to happen in one summer on one stoop over one girl or one situation, only to find out that there's a whole life out there beyond that. And it's uh, a love letter to New York City. It's tied into uh, sex, drugs, rock and roll, Studio 54, regimes. Oh, God. Anybody who, who, who reads it will know that it's true because they'll say this is true because that's the way it was. And it's uh, wrapped around the Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran fight in Montreal. It's sort of because I love boxing and, and no, I threw do. that in there. It's, so it's uh, a lot of good characters, uh, a lot of young kids trying to find themselves, not having any idea who they are yet, and uh, a lot of current issues that young people are going through right now that it's tough, you know? It's not easy. I love that, uh, uh, Dr. Schultz, uh, it's not easy being green, you know? It's not easy being green. It's not easy being different. It's not, not easy being It's not easy sensitive. being human, uh, John. Yeah, but, but when you're a kid and you want to play music or you want to tell a joke or you, you, you want to act or you want to be in a play, you know, the peer pressure and the bullying and the, you know, it's not easy. So 